This question appeared in NEET PG 2022 and it talks about a 35 year old male who reported, reported with suffering of malaise and fatigue since last two months. And when he did a lab investigation, his HBS antigen was positive and IgM core antibodies also positive. So what is the diagnosis of this case? And your options are chronic hepatitis B, acute hepatitis B, chronic hepatitis C and acute hepatitis C. Now, this is a very, very important topic. A lot of questions. I think almost in every exam, there will be one question around serological patterns of hepatitis B. When we talk about serological patterns of hepatitis B, there are only three antigen and their antibodies which we have to know to solve any question. So the three antigen which I talk about is HBS antigen, HBC antigen and the lastly HBE antigen okay and their antibodies. So let's first talk about HBS antigen. So remember this is also called as the surface antigen or in common nerves it is called as the Australian antigen. This is one of the first serum markers. First serum markers and a very frequently question, asked question is which of the following is an epidemiological marker for hepatitis B. So this hep HBS antigen is also used as epidemiological marker for hepatitis B virus infection. Okay. Now any person who has hepatitis B antigen is infected and he can be a acute infection or a chronic infection and even carrier. Okay. Let's talk about anti HBS antigen which means antibodies against HBS. So this demonstrates that the person is immune or protected against HB uh, hepatitis B infection. So this immunity or protection can be either due to the immunization with the vaccine or the patient has prior infection and has recovered. So in both of these cases where there is a complete recovery, you will have anti-HBS anti antigen. Okay. Now very interestingly, if these antibodies appear, HBS antigen will disappear. Okay, because this will attack HBS antigen and it will disappear. So this is a very very important concept. So if anti-HBS antigen appears, then HBS antigen will disappear and this uh, you know means that the patient is immune, immune or protected either through a prior infection or immunization. Let's look at the next antigen that is HBC antigen. This is also called as the core antigen and it is a core or the hidden part of the viral DNA. It is present in the hidden part of the viral DNA and it is never found in your serological marker. But why this is very important is because of the antibodies. So anti HBC antigen so which means the antibodies against HBC is very very important. This antibodies appear very early and stay still very late during the infection. So based on the type IgM or IgG type it can be a acute case of hepatitis B infection or a chronic case of hepatitis B infection. So whether the case is acute or chronic or even in you know completely recovered case also you can have IgG of HBC antigen positive. Okay. So how do you decide if the infection is acute or chronic is based on HBC antibodies and uh, antigen antibodies. Okay. If it is IgM type it is an acute case. If it is an IgG type it is a chronic case. Let's look at the third antigen. So HBE antigen demonstrates high infectivity and when you have anti HBE antigen which means antibodies against this SBE antigen then this you know will show low infectivity. 
So if the antigen is present, we say that the case is highly infective. If the antibody against this antigen is present, we say that the case is low in infectivity. So these are the only three, you know, serological antigens and antibodies which you have to know to profile any case of hepatitis B. Let's look at some of the common serological patterns and let's try to make or establish a diagnosis that if we get that serological pattern, what will be the probable diagnosis. So this is the first case. You have got HBS antigen positive, anti-HBS is negative and IgM type core antibodies is present and you have got HBE antigen positive. So let's look at this. So because this is present, so we can say it is an active and acute case. Acute case with high infectivity right because you have got the antigen present of HPE. Let's look at this case. Here everything is same but instead of IgM here it is IgG. So again this becomes a chronic hepatitis B virus case with high infectivity. Very easy to understand. Let's look at this case. Here this is IgG but now the Ig uh, you know HBE antigen is negative but anti-HBE is positive. So this is probably the very late part of the infection. So this is chronic HBV. Also it may be a carrier state with low infectivity. Very easy because you know anti-HBE antigen is there. So it is a low infectivity case. And the moment this antibodies appear, HBE will disappear. Let's look at this case. So here everything is negative. Only you find is HB C antigen positive. So is the case hepatitis B? Yes. It's an acute case of hepatitis B virus infection. Now, very early in the acute uh, hepatitis B infection, sometimes you may have HBS antigen negative, but anti HBC antibodies IgM type. So this is very early when even the antigen is HBS surface antigen is not detectable, but IgM type of HBC. This is also called as the uh, HBC window period okay it is also called as the HBC window period infection okay because only HB anti HBC is present even HBS is uh, not present here if you see this is IgG so probably this is a chronic HBV with low infectivity this may be also a carrier state carrier state okay this you know again anti HBS has appeared this is IgG so again this is basically your completely recovery case so the patient has recovered he is immune but he had a past infection and the last is where there is no anti HBC but only anti HBS so this is basically your immunized individuals immunized individuals and can you see make the difference how you can uh, uh, differentiate between immunized individuals and people who have protection against HBV, uh, HBV but they are that protection is because of earlier infection so here in that case IgG HBC antibodies will be present so these are the various serological patterns and if you know this there is no question on hepatitis B virus serological profile which you will not be able to answer let's now quickly look at what question we started our discussion with so we know that HBS antigen is positive and IgM core antibody is positive because IgM core is there so chronic will be ruled out and it will be acute hepatitis B. So this is the correct answer.